friends, we're gathered here on a very happy occasion to be witnesses before God and before one another of the solemn mm -hmm. pledges that Chris and Karen are soon to make one to another, and that we might have some part by our presence here and our prayers and our good wishes and setting up a part in this new estate of marriage. And so I say to you, Chris, and to you, Karen, that this rite of marriage in which you come now to be united is the first and the oldest rite in the world first celebrated in man's beginning with God himself as the sole witness, guest, and priest. The Lord Jesus himself also, we read, blessed the wedding and the feasting by his presence and, and there performed his first miracle by turning water into wine. With such evidence before us, who can doubt that marriage is pleasing and blessed of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And what marriage was in the beginning, it still is holy and sacred to all who will before God keep it as such. And for Christians especially, marriage has never fallen in the slightest, but continues on to bless and comfort and strengthen all those who enter into its holy relationship. And thus it will be to you, Chris, and to you, Karen, if you have it in your hearts to beautify and sweeten it by your tender regard one for another, and by your mindfulness in little things, and by your patience, And all this I charge you before God and before these friends as witnesses to remember and to observe. There is probably no better description of love than the description we find in the Bible. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13 where we read these words. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels but have not love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains but have not love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and surrender my body to the flames but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It's not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. And now these th three remain. Faith, hope, and love greatest of these is love. This time we're going to have Karen's son, uh, Jake, come and say a few words. A mother will always care for you, love for you, and protect you. I'm glad to say that on this day, I am very ecstatic to be standing here giving you away. I wish for you to have the best years of your life with Chris. Thank you for raising me and loving me with all 19 years of my life to be the man I am today. I'm truly honored to give you on this day on this day. When people meet others, sometimes they are shy and time is the essence to getting to know someone and being comfortable with them. I never knew that I would meet an honest, loving, and caring of a man as you, Chris. I can't wait for the fun times we will have together later in the future. Can't imagine my life without you. Love you, Chris. Thank you, Jake. And now I would ask you, Chris, do you take Karen to be your beloved and lawful wife, promising to keep, cherish, and defend her, and forsaking all others to be her faithful and true husband as long as you both shall live? And Karen, do you take Chris to be your beloved and lawful husband, promising to adhere to him faithfully and forsaking all others to be to him a faithful and true wife as long as you both shall live? Thank you. Will you now please uh, turn to each other and take your right hands and will you repeat your vows that you have written to each other? <laughs> Oh. 
when I first met you nearly six years ago, I saw all the qualities in you that a good man should be. Loving, caring, hardworking, compassionate towards others, and so many more things. You're my sunshine on a cloudy day. My smile and my laughter. The love of my life and my protector. After many, many prayers, there's no doubt in my mind God brought us together. I promise before God and all these witnesses today that as your wife, I'll walk beside you, hand in hand, through all the happy times, and to hold your hand in the tighter and the not so good times when they face, to be your rock and your source of strength through the not so happy times as well as the good times. I thank you as my husband today to love, honor, and cherish and so that comes my life for all eternity. I love you. Karen, Sue, Nugent, the love that you have put in my heart, my soul, and my life has been amazing. And for that, I will share with you forever until I take my last breath. I love you, honey. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Okay, You'll have your chance. <laughs> Well, and now, Chris, may I have the ring with which you propose to seal your vow? Chris, may this ring, beautiful, unbroken, and endless, be symbolic of your faith and love. And may you give it, and she who receives it, abide unchangeably in that faith and love all the days of your life. Repeat after me, with this ring I be wed. With this ring I be wed. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And Karen, may I have the ring with which you propose to seal your vow? And may this ring, in like manner, symbolize a pure faith and love. And as you give it, may it also be symbolic of the faith and the devotion that you are both to adhere to all the days of your life. This ring I be wed. This ring I be wed. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let's bow our heads for prayer. Heavenly Father, on this beautiful day in which Chris and Karen have pledged their love to each other and committed their lives to each other, we pray that you will bless every day that comes in their future. We pray that you will guide their steps. There may be more. We pray there will be more, many more sunny days, beautiful days. But there may be stormy days. But through the storms, as they cling to one another, their love will grow. We pray that will be the way it is. We pray that the love that they have pledged to each other today will be surpassed by the love they have tomorrow and all the tomorrows that come. So, Lord, bless not only this day of their wedding, but bless their lives, the lives they've committed to share together. Walk with them, guide them, help them through the storms as well as the beautiful days. Guide their steps, I pray, and may they always look to you. Christ name I pray. Amen. Amen. Well, and now, Chris and Karen, and as much as you have solemnly and tenderly made these sacred vows in the very presence of God and these dear friends as witnesses, it's my happy privilege as a minister of the Lord Jesus Christ now to pronounce you husband 
and why? And now you make this. <laughs> I'm happy to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Chris Parnell. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can do it. Let me bring it back up. Yeah, please. That way. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh